you guys go get back in the truck. You're gonna hate it. You're not gonna like it at all. So we can't even see it? Yeah, I wouldn't even go in there and look at it. It's it's bad. Let's go see it. Welcome back to Back Road Driver, guys. We're at... Knox Details, Knoxville, Tennessee. They do most of the high-end stuff here in Knoxville. If you don't recognize this guy, this is our dad, Bob. Say what's up, Bob. What's up, Bob? <laughs> We're These are the Miser Brothers, guys. <laughs> These are the Miser Brothers. If you clicked on this thumb, you already know what we're about to go see. Let's go inside, check this thing out, and then get it outside. And then we're also going to compare it to our other first edition Bronco in the same exact color in two doors here in just a second. Yeah. Holy smoke. That's tough. That is all right. What do you Leave think? Got to like this. <laughs> Look at that. They even, even got the door figured handles, Figured out a way to do door handles. They pieced them, but they got them covered. That gun. Yeah. It'll stood out being shiny, so. See what she looks like in the back here. Put the wheel back on. Yeah. They cleaned it up real good. So they did these on the just on the back, kind of yeah. give it the appearance. They even threw some oh, on wow, here. Put to, some on there, yeah. Because I'm sure those were gloss still. Yeah. It was, yeah. That's hard to do, and it, it doesn't look perfect, but it's better than that. Because it's rough just material. Face. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Looks good. I yeah. wondered what they were, you know, I was looking at some pictures of them. I was like, I wonder what they're going to do there. That's got gloss on it. Yeah. They did gloss on all the. That's a good idea. Because when you take the doors off, there was going to be a lot of gloss that you elsewhere. Might have that on. Yeah. So, guys, this has the same texture as my satin wrap uh, Mustang does. So like it doesn't show much of anything. Like if you did that to the glossy car right now, I mean, there's some fingerprints, but they're hard to see. If you did yeah. that on gloss, it's it kind of like nasty. an OCD plug screen protector, guys. That's, <laughs> That's right. We're gonna be putting one of those on in a video here in just a few days, probably. This is, a, this is crazy. I did put fingerprints on that. Yeah, not bad though. I mean, they don't show up. Yeah, it's not like smearing on gloss. So yeah, your uh, you mirror caps are wrapped. Mirror you can caps. barely tell it. Yep. I mean, they they don't have wrapped. a They're wrapped with, uh, mirror cap with gloss. gloss. I'll show you guys. These uh, door seals have gloss on them, so now this won't scratch up. Here, here to here. And when we take the doors off, it'll show gloss on the side. There's really not much you can do about that. We weren't going to wrap hinges and all that stuff. And then we didn't do the grill because so many holes in it. And you can probably buy a grill cheaper than you can put the stealth protection on it. So my biggest fear was dad getting the stealth and not liking it because if he hated it, that's an expensive hate. What do you think? I think I like it. <laughs> sharp. I think I like it. That's going to stand out. Guys, y'all done a good job on these tinted windows. <laughs> we get the right color? Got the right color, it looks like. So they match the back perfectly. Tell you what, this thing is amazing. It's that it already had a couple of shades of blue to it based off which curve where the light was catching. I think it's deeper now than it was when it was gloss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks good. That made a big difference. Just see. see. You see, see this cut a whole lot better. Way more than you did on the gloss. So we kind of knew that because of the satin wraps on the, the 350 and the 500, but it the really stands out. Graphics being gone. I don't know if we said that. I like it graphics, the graphics are gone. Graphics are gone on the hood here as well. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty awesome. 
couldn't be happier with how this thing turned out. Let's get it outside, see it in the sun for the first time, and then we're gonna drive it across the street here to Ted Russell Ford, where my two-door first edition is bought and paid for. And we're gonna show you this same exact color in gloss right beside this. So this has a full ceramic coating on it, on every surface, plastic, glass, you name it. Come over here, Dad. Ooh, yeah, you still can get this sparkle in it. Guys, the metallic on this is, still shows up great, don't it? It does. it does. I don't know if that's gonna show up on yeah. camera, but the metallic finish in this paint comes through in the sun just like it was gloss except it's a matte finish it is pretty sharp this reminds me uh when we went to the atlanta auto show saw those mercedes that had the matte finish paint about five on. years ago when, yeah. when yep. this really wasn't a thing yet so couldn't get it other than that and this right here that's that's amazing tinted windows is awesome too it's complete so what did they put on the headlights there's no protection as far as film goes on the headlights, but there is ceramic. Sim ceramic. Yep. Okay. So every single surface, plastic, anything gloss, anything paint, uh, face of the wheels, everything got coated. Ceramic here and here. Yep, everything. Yep. Just, uh, just so you know who Knox Details is, this is the type of vehicles that they work on. So Bronco is a light snack. This dude has a cage in it. <laughs> it's a GT3. I don't even know if it's an RS, but they've had a cage put in it, probably for track days. Four-point harness, too. And this is a McLaren uh, 765 LT. Probably getting a full detail, but he's got carbon vents over the hood there. Carbon all in it. That's, that ain't playing around. Chalk 911, Model X, Model X. Like, these guys don't play. You guys happy with it? Uh, this is Tim, this is the owner. We thought it was gonna be gloss. <laughs> yeah, man, what'd you do? Put sand, take sandpaper to it? He's we went through all finish. our stealth film on it. <laughs> <laughs> we literally just, like, we're out of stealth film. I'm surprised it's only gloss. Yeah. 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 yeah, that right there is the detail stuff that makes it glossy. It's gonna clean up super easy, though. We're super like, easy. You know what? I'm pretty excited about that free car wash that comes with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every, every two weeks. That's about right. That's what or if I've been out, or if I've been out on the trail, <laughs> mud bring it here for sure, right? Yeah, the mud. Uh, I'd say the mud detail costs a little bit more. You guys have a pressure washer at home to wash it with? Yes, we do. I have nothing to wash just with. Don't get it. just stay stay away from the edges on it. With the hard, with, with the, the hard yeah. pressure. We've got a pressure washer at the garage, and I'm sure that we'll be washing this thing quite often. <laughs> <laughs> Two feet. Do you have a leaf blower? Yeah. Yeah, you can drive so it. So you'll use to wash it, drive off with. Huh. Two minutes or less? No, probably though. Yeah, Real okay. quick, it'll just blow right off. Looks good. Sure so you're happy with the stuff then? Yes, it's it. awesome. What's that? Don't know that you'll see this you too many places, man. but Lightning Blue, oh, yeah, two door first good. edition. Lightning blue, four-door first edition. This one's obviously stealth now. We'll be able to show you here in just a second, side by side in the sun. What do you think? I like it. A little That's different, a, ain't it? Well, it's a whole new dimension to it. Our thoughts were, if you clear, if you put the Expel on there in gloss, you paid a lot of money for protection with no cosmetic look to it. But this, you kind of get, you get both. Yes. Looks like a satin paint job. It does. Looks good. Tones down a bright color. Sparkle. It feels good too. It does. <clears throat> it did a good job. Yeah, it did a great job. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go a little bit more in depth. I'm gonna go straight from sunny side here to sunny side here. And I'm not gonna lie. This is a great combination with all the gloss black on the first edition. The stripe kit, I could take it or leave it, but it does look professional. And uh, the gloss though, what do you guys think? Gloss or stealth? Let us know down in the comments. So I guess this is springing it on you guys. I bought this about a week ago and I just leave it inside at Ted Russell Ford. 
This one, we haven't decided quite what to do yet. It's the two door. I ordered them both on the first night. The original thought was my wife will drive the four door. We'll use the two door for the channel, do off roading. My wife couldn't wait because obviously that took like a year and a half. So she got a navigator. Poor, my poor, poor wife has to drive a navigator. And my dad ended up wanting this one. So he bought that and we're able to use it on the channel. So I don't know what we're gonna do with this one. If you're interested in this one, I don't know that I'm gonna sell it, but you can email me, brad at backroaddriver.com. I'll put that down in the description. Uh, this one's pretty solid. It's got 22 miles on it. Driving it from inside the showroom to out here, I'll probably put another 10th of a mile on it. Uh, but I think it's probably gonna stay in here for a few more days inside the showroom. And uh, yeah, I think the stealth really changed the game on this Bronco. We're pumped about how this came out, guys. Check out Knox Details if you need a big, complete detail or any kind of films or coatings or anything like that. Make sure you subscribe down below. Give us a thumbs up on this video. Oh, we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Peace. Peace.